These calls are all too common on an officer's radio. Suspect is in custody. But when suspects are finally hunted down, the arrest is just the beginning. I need transport. Different crimes, different set of circumstances, but in Fulton County, they all ended up in the same place. Behind these concrete walls and razor wire is a lifestyle foreign to most. My team and I go inside to see exactly what happens when you're locked up. We have about 13, 14 gangs, separate gangs. Colonel Mike uh, Adger, the chief jailer of the Fulton County Jail, gives us an unprecedented, exclusive look at a totally different type of lit, or should we call it survival. There are no easy days. The colonel says the mission here is not rehabilitation, but pre-trial detention. For some career criminals, it's a revolving door. I ran into a, a guy that's about 60 years old now. He's been to jail over 100 times. How many times did you say you've been arrested in your lifetime? But jail staff hope the experience will keep them from coming back. One of the things that, that we do believe we have an obligation to do is try to prepare people to stay out of jail. You got any history of mental illness? Deputies say they're in touch with people who are at their worst. So I decided to find out for okay. myself. Is it cool for me to come in here? What brought him here? Hang with the wrong people. But what's going to keep you from backsliding, so to speak? What's going to keep you from going back to the streets? I saw firsthand in these cells young men. Do they personally think they made bad choices? But this one right here, he admits he's learning quickly. The Department of Corrections taught me about correcting yourself. So I done been correct. I learned the hard way. From the strip search, anything can be found on them. Drugs, weapons, knives. So they have to double check. Fingerprinting, mug shots, medical, and then upstairs. It's a giant maze here. So many doors and endless connecting hallways. These officers know exactly what's going on. And the operator can configure the panel any way he wants. It's a bird's eye view from one of the control towers. The colonel says after some much needed security modifications, no one is escaping Fulton County Jail. Since we installed these locks, haven't had any unauthorized exits. And Ron, you spent more than four hours in there. What else did you find out? I'll tell you what, there's a lot of amazing stories, compelling stories coming out of the Fulton County Jail. We actually had a chance to go into maximum security while we were there, now these are the, the worst of the worst. You just pointed that out, right? The worst of the worst. And they're not able to congregate with the general population because of the crimes that they have committed. Now, coming up tomorrow night, we're going to actually have an opportunity to speak with several of those inmates and hear their stories as to why they are there and why they end up there multiple times. All right. Thanks so much, Ron. Sure.